We've had a lot of improvements uh, to, to the system. Uh, a lot of it goes back to the great transportation development plan that the City Council adopted back in 2008. That has enabled us to uh, add evening service, it's enabled us to fill in some gaps in some service, and also to extend, uh, extend routes to some new areas, and so we're really excited about that. We now have night service on seven of our 12 routes. Uh, those areas go all over town. Uh, it, it started uh, after 2008 when we added a few, but last, last year we added three new routes. Our night service has been, I think, has been very successful uh, because uh, it has enabled people to get to jobs and other things uh, that they haven't been before. Uh, we're now carrying, just on the three we've added, this, the three night routes we've added this last year, we are uh, carrying 20, about 2,700 people a month and uh, that's a big difference and when you make those changes it also allows people to catch uh, services at, and on other, other times during those routes. Uh, for instance, uh, somebody might catch a route late in the day knowing that now they can get home when before they couldn't. We started a new route back in 2009 that goes from uh, sort of the University Heights area over to Ramsey Corridor along Stacy Weaver. That's been a great corridor and that, that route's been growing. Uh, we have mostly new buses now, so we have a new look. People really like them. I think that really contributes a lot. And then over the past uh, few years, we've added over 50 shelters and then an additional 20 benches all over our system and uh, again it makes it just easier for people to catch a bus particularly as they're waiting. In addition to our bus service we provide special van service to persons with disabilities and uh, those services are provided the same days and times and areas that our fixed route services go. It's a reservation based service so uh, people can call in and, and make a reservation one to fourteen days in advance. Uh, we uh, w again we we cover three quarters of a mile of a regular bus route. So if you are going to board or get off a bus within that area, uh, we, we, can, we can cover those services. As we make uh, changes to our regular bus routes, we also are adding services to the fast track vans. For instance, last year when we added night service, those vans, we added, we added extra night service on those. Uh, when we extended the routes to the North Hospital, uh, now those people that live along Ramsey Corridor uh, now have the ability to uh, catch a, or make a reservation for a, a van service if they're, if they're in that three-quarter mile area. We've been blessed with a great increase in ridership. Uh, our ridership has increased uh, almost 80 percent since 2008 and that is attributed to a lot of things. One is a, a great plan that the transportation development plan was something that the city council adopted and they've stayed committed to it even with the economy uh, slowing things down uh, they still have kept the momentum and that's that's been a great blessing so we have uh, we've added services uh, we've improved our, uh, our our buses and our bus routes and, and amenities and I think it's also we've had a real customer focus uh, in terms of trying to make sure we understand where people are uh, going what they need and that's one of the reasons we go out and ride the buses is to make sure we understand that we have just concluded some, some meetings about some changes we, we hope to make in September and uh, those are, uh, are really things that will help improve people's uh, riding abilities and habits. Uh, many of those are trying to cut people's trans transfers down so they don't have to transfer as often as, all, as well as cut their trip times. Uh, for instance, we're, we're splitting one route that has two buses on it that takes an hour now to go from the uh, mall to the hospital. By splitting this in two routes you can now travel from the mall to the hospital in a half an hour. We're still covering the same basic area but uh, now you can make that trip much more more quickly. On the other hand we're also taking uh, two routes that have two buses each and now we're combining those into one route and it's it's again it's I think improving the what we're going to be able to do for our riders. Uh, one of the big big things that I'm excited about is we're going to have hourly service now to Fort Bragg so uh, people can ride our bus to the Yadkin Gate. There'll be a on post shuttle there that will meet, meet our vehicle and you can continue on there and that's something we haven't had for a while. In addition we'll have new service along Riley Road between Morganton and Cliffdale and that is again something we haven't uh, we haven't had before. And, and finally somebody that's uh, traveling from the Walmart and Rayford Road to the mall can now do that without a transfer. Before you had to transfer at least once to get to the mall. So I think those are all things that help improve riders' experience. Another of the uh, improvements that we've made, and I think that really has helped our riders, is uh, we've tried to make our bus passes much more convenient for people to, to, to purchase. Uh, before, the only place you could really purchase those were at a transfer center and, and here at our offices. And people sometimes had to drive two or three hours just to go buy a bus pass. Uh, we worked out a deal that we started in February with Carly C's and now they're selling them at their four Fayetteville stores. Our multimodal transit center has been part of our overall plan and, and from, uh, from my view it's really going to transform our system when it's finally constructed. It's going to be a home for us and it's a great place uh, for our customers to come. Uh, it's going to be a, at a convenient location whether you're going Fort Bragg, you're going 
uh, you're going west, south, north, any place, it's going to be a great location that, that we have. And so we're very excited about it. It's going to help us really just transform our system. We have a lot of nice amenities in there for people as they're waiting for the buses. Uh, we're going to have a small food court area. And we'll also have some offices and a community room. So when we're having a lot of our public meetings, we'll be able to have them right there at our transfer center uh, in the future. And it's just a really exciting time. I think it's going to change our image and uh, just the whole outlook that people have about transit here in Fayetteville. We do have more improvements up our sleeve. Uh, actually, uh, one of the things we're working on this year is a new bus route along Strickland Bridge Road going in West Fayetteville. Uh, we, we are actually spending this year building bus stops. As you, if you drive down that road, you know, there are very few sidewalks, there are a lot of ditches, and so it, it's, a, it's a pretty good piece of work to put in bus stops that have accessible white wheelchair. So we are going to uh, be doing that this next year, and hopefully about this time next year, uh, we'll actually be able to start that, that service. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. It, we're planning to go all the way down to the New Century uh, Library and it'll end up uh, up near the uh, Cross Creek Mall. We, we also are, are working on some services to Fort Bragg. Again, we're going to have the Yadkin Gate connection, but we also would like to provide an express bus uh, to provide jobs for people coming to Fayetteville going to, to the post. And so that is another thing that we've actually put some money aside for from our federal grants to be able to do that, and, and hopefully in the next couple of years we'll be able to actually implement that. I, I think transit has a lot to do with our quality of life and the choices that people have uh, within Fayetteville. Uh, we're a small transit system, and so that's one of the reasons we're growing it, is to, uh, to be able to help people improve their lives. If, if we can get them to jobs, if we can get them to school, uh, medical uh, appointments, and, and, and give people a choice, and I think that's, again, the number one reason somebody chooses transit, is because it's a convenient choice that they can make.